Wow, look at him go. I don't know if it's a him or her. Look at him spinning on, man. He's doing great. So some observations about Windmill 21, because I've been kind of discouraged for a little bit because of how heavy it is. Especially last night, a big windstorm came and I didn't take it down in time. And I, I woke up to the sound of like this loud banging. And it was, because this thing's so heavy, I mean, it puts so much force. It puts so much weight on the mount. And I've never, I've never had a windmill that's so heavy that it actually does that. So I, I came outside last night in the wee hours of the night and I took it down um, and it was fine. But I, I've just been kind of discouraged because it's just so dang heavy. This thing weighs over, it's like almost three pounds. I think it's two and a half pounds. And that's just the turbine. The entire assembly weighs like five. And so it was kind of, which is again, not bad in and of itself. But for my uses, and especially it's like, okay, well, if it's gonna weigh five pounds, it needs to spin better than this. The angular acceleration is just not there. When the wind blows, it takes it, you know, several seconds to get up to speed. And that's not what I want, because that's that's part of what contributes to this, like, not buckling, I don't know, the, the bending of the rod. That's part of what contributes to it, because until it gets up to speed, I've talked about this before, until the spinning gets up to speed, it acts like a wall, right? So I've been all discouraged and I started thinking about how the day that I picked up the hardboard, I had all these parts ready to go and none of them fit. And I was kind of like, I didn't really think anything of it at the time, but I started thinking back to that and I was like, why did those parts not fit? And so just out of curiosity, oh, and it was also much heavier than I anticipated. There were all these like little things that I just never thought anything of. And so I got my calipers out and I measured it and somehow I just never put two and two together. These sheets are a little over five millimeters wide and five millimeters is not one eighth inch. They gave me the wrong size hardboard. And so this whole time I've been all frustrated like this is not working at all like I anticipated. Well, it's cause I'm using, a different, I'm using a different width. And so I started thinking, well, you know what? If I can reduce the weight by a third, that's a pretty good amount. You know, it's, it works pretty well, but if I can reduce the weight, then I'll be fine. I, I really, I think it'll do a lot better. And so now I'm kind of, uh, my discouragement has gone away because now I'm, I'm excited again thinking about, cause I didn't want to go back to plywood, man. Plywood was the worst. I hated working with plywood. It's not the ply, I mean, it's nice that it's so light, it is, but cutting it for me personally, as somebody that doesn't have that many tools is a nightmare uh, and it just warps. And the warping probably isn't the worst thing but in my mind, I want this to be something, I've said this before, I want this to be something that I can set out and just not have to worry about it. Versus a plywood turbine, it's going to deprecate over time. It's going to get worse and worse, right? The warping is only going to get worse. So the hardboard is something that I can leave it outside. It can be somewhere humid. I'm not gonna have to worry about it warping. It's something that I'm very excited to work with. I still don't know how I didn't notice for this entire time that the hardboard that they gave me was 50% bigger than what I was expecting. But I'm, I'm actually really excited now. So you can see, I, I don't know if I've actually, uh, oh yeah, the last update video, I don't think it was even put together yet. So, so here it is actually spinning. You can see the pitch again, this was uh, 72.5 degrees pitch. Um, and on this windmill, you know, that's another thing that I could do is I, I could just increase the pitch even further, but I really don't want to sacrifice the high wind speed, the high wind speed speed. You know what I mean? The, the rotational speed at high wind speed, because the more that I lower the pitch, the more I'm going to sacrifice that. So I think the better thing to do right now would be to reduce the weight on these blades. But that's what's going on. So you may have noticed that I've been making a bunch of other content. I just kind of, I just do what I want, man. The most fun thing about what I do to me has always just been the feeling of freedom to, you know, if I feel like I want to design an anemometer today, I'm gonna do that. And so this channel is not necessarily, you know, Christopher's windmill content. I named it Christopher's Factory because it's whatever I feel like making. So anyway, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching Windmill 21 spin away in the background. It's, it's working pretty well. It's working pretty well. It's just not where I want it to be. So a bunch of stuff coming. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I think that will be, well, I think I'm at 99 right now. So whoever is my 100th subscriber, you're the best, as well as the previous 99. I love all of you equally. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful day.